Hey guys, Zachary Slaughter here. Welcome to another episode of Halo Top 5, the series where I kind of unsurprisingly count down the top five of something within the Halo universe. And today we are looking at the five strongest ships used by the Covenant. If after getting to the end of this video, you found that you've enjoyed it, make sure to give it a like and subscribe because next time we're gonna be counting down the five best Spartans. So a few rules for this list just before we get started in the first, is that I'm including ships from before, during, and after the Human Covenant War, used either by the main Covenant factions or the Splinter Groups. Secondly, I have used my discretion when making this list and have omitted ships which only appear once or which only are described very vaguely. So, for example, there's a Covenant Cruiser, a very large one, that appears in the Fall of Reach book but isn't really described or mentioned later, so I've admitted that one. With that being said, let's jump right into the list. And number five is the Brigantine, a ship introduced in Halo 5. I was iffy about if I wanted to include this ship or not. On one hand, it actually appears in Halo 5, you can see it on in the background. On the other hand, we don't know exactly how powerful it is. But in the end, I figured I somehow needed to represent the new ships introduced in Halo 5, including this one, the Brigantine, and then the Man of War and the Carrick class. The Brigantine is an old ship, it was first used hundreds of years before the Human Covenant War. And for pretty much the entirety of the war, it was completely obsolete. However, after the war, and of course after the Covenant Schism, which left much of their fleet and their ships destroyed, the Brigantine was upgraded and brought up to modern standards. And you would think that this would make it quite a powerful ship because as I said, it's almost 7 kilometers long. So although we don't really know a whole lot about it, just due to its sheer size and the fact that it has been upgraded, the Brigantine is the fifth strongest ship used by the Covenant. Number four was a close one, and I couldn't decide between the ship that I ended up picking and the DDS class carrier. The DDS was a very heavy Covenant warship, but I figured that carriers will also be very well represented further on in this list. So I went with the Covenant battleship. Unlike many Covenant ships which primarily act or at least additionally act as a carrier, the Covenant battleship was a dedicated anti-warship vessel. The ship was seen primarily at the Second Battle of Harvest, where it used its energy projectors to great efficiency to almost decimate a UNSC fleet alone. And this was one of the first warships encountered by the UNSC, and again, these energy projectors were used to literally cut their ships in half from great distance. And this just shows the overwhelming power of the Covenant. One battleship was able to take on 40 UNSC ships, destroying almost a third of their fleet while only barely being destroyed. So all in all, just because of its very impressive anti-ship capabilities, its great showing at the Battle of Harvest, and the fact that it's two kilometers long and very wide and bulky, make the Covenant battleship the fourth strongest ship used by those alien scum. Just kidding. Number three is the ORS class heavy cruiser, and this is also kind of a unique ship because it serves mainly as a support ship rather than a frontline assault or as a carrier. What's unique about the ORS is that it's heavily upgraded with Forerunner technology. And I mean, it serves, certainly visually, as an upgraded form of the very, very common CCS class battle cruiser, which actually makes up most of the Covenant fleet. The ship also did have a carrying capacity and would have taken ships with it, and did have advanced weaponry. Not quite as much as, for example, the Covenant battleship that I just talked about, but the fact that this ship is so advanced and so large, I think, really make it deserving of the spot as the third strongest Covenant battleship. Number two is the CAS class assault carrier, and when you think of Covenant warship, huge Covenant warship, this is probably what you think of. The CAS was basically an army in and of itself. At over five kilometers long, it would have carried tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of troops and vehicles. And besides for its large size, which give it its very apt name as a carrier, it also had an extremely powerful glassing laser and multiple energy projectors. These could easily decimate a UNSC fleet. But probably actually the most impressive part of the CAS was its shield. And I mean, these things are so well protected that they can actually survive shots from super Mac cannons. Really, no ship offered by humanity during the Human Covenant War could stand up to a CAS class assault carrier. And ships like these almost allowed the Covenant to operate at will, even piercing the defenses of Earth. And really, the CAS's size, its armament, and its shields make it the second deadliest ship used by the Covenant. Number one is the CAS's much, much, much larger brother, the CSO class supercarrier. And this thing is an absolute beast. At nearly 29 kilometers long, the CSO class supercarrier is the longest non-forerunner ship seen in the Halo universe. 
It's also one of the largest Covenant creations if we don't count space stations like High Charity. But yes, the CSO is an absolute beast, and not only is it large, but it's also upgraded with Covenant technology, unlike the CAS class carrier. And I mean, aside from that, we don't really know much other than it's presumably pretty much a scaled up version of the previous ship, and that it's extremely valuable because we saw George was willing to sacrifice his life in Halo Reach to destroy a single ship. As an aside, the ship was pretty controversial, and personally, I'm not a huge fan of it. This is supposedly the most powerful warship in the Covenant fleet, and it's miles longer than anything we've previously seen, but it's the exact same almost as a CAS class carrier. It's kind of annoying that they would just copy the same design, and that they would go from the Covenant's largest ship being under 10 kilometers to almost 30. But I would love to hear what you guys think. Do you like the CSO class supercarrier? Do you mind that it's basically the exact same as the CAS, but of course much longer and a slightly different color? And if you were a Covenant fleet master in charge of your own CSO class supercarrier, what would you name it? And also down in the comments, please let me know what list you'd like to see next, whether it's Halo related or Star Wars related. And also if you guys remember, I wasn't sure if I was going to put Halo stuff on the main channel, but you guys voted overwhelmingly for me to do so. So that's where it's going to stay, at least for now. Anyways, thank you guys for watching and hey, as always, may the force be with you.